2023-2024 season. Let's get it. It's a great return. Lay y'all shakes back. We go on live and tune up to the max. Real and king so fit in the fact. Wrapping it up with glue yard in the chat. Baltimore Dallas, we still on the map. The others agree, we don't know about that. We wrote the blueprints, don't know about that. And Nico, we trust that we know about that. MFF fail, that we rise. The cooking up with curve, we stay in the lives. I hope your appetite for winning is hearty. Grab it for the seat for the after game party. We never die, we live on the pies, but you ain't imagining. We home like foxes. Lightning in the sky like Dr. Frankenstein. Luca and Kyrie, they really need a mob. The rules of the game are the same They on every platform, same name As WTM, have your question on screen Keep it courteous and keep it clean And remember to share and like Welcome Will and King to the mic Wherever, whenever you hear this pod Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Glow Yard YouTube, Glow Yard Gang, MFFLs Podcast listeners all over the globe, guys Welcome to a brand spanking new episode of We Talk Mavs when we talk Dallas Mavericks from a fan's perspective, man, very, very good win tonight for the Dallas Mavericks, man. Y'all already know what time it is. They stay on the course. They got that eye for that um, elusive 50 wins, and they're definitely on their way there, man. It seems like every game they get closer and closer, man, but we're going to definitely get into that plus more. It's your boys, Rell and King, man. We back with another one for y'all, man. I know it was a late, late, late one tonight, guys. Well, we're going to try to get through this, man, and talk all things Dallas Mavericks and celebrate this win against the Utah Jazz. They officially went 3-1 to one this season against the Jazz. And like I said, continue on their journey to their 50th win and try to move up into the, to a play-in, I mean, I'm sorry, to a playoff spot. And try to move out of the play-in. But yeah, man, listen, if you're brand new to the channel and to all Dallas Maverick content, man, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, man, and join us here. As we talk about all things Dallas Mavericks. And also, too, everybody hit that like button, man. Hit that like button for this win tonight. Hit that like button for your Mavs moving up to a playoff spot and hopefully staying there. So, yeah, go ahead and hit that. Do all the good things for us. Subscribe and like, man. Subscribe and like to the channel, man. Listen, you ready to get into it, King? I am. Let's do it, bro. All right, man. But let's go ahead and do one quick thing before we get started, man. Let's show some love to our sponsors. Before we continue, we want to give a special shout out to Fanatics for hooking the channel up with a personalized link for you guys and ladies to get all of your official NBA Dallas Mavericks merchandise and apparel. If you're interested in helping the channel at all, please scan the QR code on the screen or check out the link in the description. We appreciate all of the continued support and big thanks go out to Fanatics once more for hooking us up over here at We Talk Mavs. Yes, sir, guys. All right, King. Let's get to it, man. Let's get into this takeaways of the game. All right, man. Listen, Dallas wins 115 to 105 against the Utah Jazz. You already know we got to do, King. Put it in the people's face. So, Dallas shoots 47% from the field. Utah shoots 42%. Dow shoots 28% from three-point uh, range. The Jazz shoot 33%. Free throws, Dallas 83, 15 of 18. Utah Jazz 18 of 22 for 81. Rebounds, Dallas out-rebounds Utah 47 to 46. We uh, lose the offensive rebound battle by one, 11 to 10, but we beat them on the defensive boards 37 to 35. All right, King. Go ahead, let the folks at home know, man. What was your takeaway of the game today? I, I love these games, <clears throat> but I hate them in a way because I, I know folks probably think our energy isn't the same. Like keep that same energy when we're winning than when we're losing. But um, we're beating teams we're supposed to win, or supposed to beat right now, and that's a good feeling. Really, um, I'm very proud of the team. I thought uh, first quarter was ugly defensively. Um, our offense actually pretty good in the first quarter as well, but defensively we didn't look good at all. Uh, from that point on, I thought we played immaculate uh, as far as defense throughout the rest of the game. Um, offense was stagnant as well, third quarter, but fourth quarter, it kind of took off, uh, did their thing. Uh, special shout out to Luca getting the basically 30 point triple double. Uh, Kyrie was out there helping him, had his back. Uh, Gafford, again, dominant in the middle, man, uh, got you five blocks, I think, today um, with five assists. Like Gafford was all over the place. He's, he's just amazing. Uh, I, I thought Derek Jones Jr. did his job today. And P.J. Washington, bro, he didn't have the greatest defensive game um, that he's had uh, since he's been with us, but I still thought he played pretty good defensively. His hands were in, in uh, good places, getting helping to get loose balls, and he 
actually knocked down some big threes offensively. I thought he had a pretty good game offensively today. Um, on the bench, Maxie was just Maxie. Um, I don't know why K got cute in the last uh, two minutes of the game and let try to put Maxie at the five again, but maybe he's trying to make sure the, the big guys didn't get hurt or something like that. And he thought, he thought a 12 point leap was enough. So it is what it is with that. Um, I thought Lively was uh, pretty good uh, out there in stretches, moving his feet and all getting rebounds. Uh, even defensively, I thought he was good. Uh, Axum again was just, he just Axum, bro. Like when he's out there, the, the engine keeps moving or whatever. Um, and I went really unsung hero today. I feel like Tim Hardaway Jr. had one of his better games uh, since the trade deadline. Um, it may not have been the most points he had, but uh, all around his, his basketball game, his defense, his defense, um, his offense, and just his all-around recognition, like getting the ball out of his hands, getting into open shots and things like that. It's probably only one time during the game, really, uh, where I felt like he did something foolish. And um, for the Tim Hardaway, that, that that's awesome. But to also say his defense was incredible. I thought it was Tim Hardaway Jr. He kept us in the game also with big shots at moments uh, when, you know, the Utah Jazz could have been on the run, basically. And he would come with some big threes or something like that. And that was it was good to see. Uh, we need that Tim Hardaway Jr. I told you the three-point percentage uh, is kind of a reflection of him as well. When he's making shots, and all, it's a better it's better for our team, better for our three-point percentage. is better in general. Opens the floor up. Um, but just in general, I thought Jason Kidd, uh, good usage of his timeouts again. Uh, I thought he, he used his challenges correctly. Um out of play, out of timeout plays are going his way. Um, I don't know, man. Like he, 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 he always has a little cuteness in his game every, you know, every game or whatever. But I mean, he's pushing the, the right buttons in the most, in the, uh, I guess, in most places. I should say right now. Pause. But other than that, bro, um, good win. We were supposed to be Utah. Uh, we had with the Suns losing before we finished the game. Uh, this was a major win, especially with having the tiebreaker with Phoenix and now having the game above them as well. Um, that gives you a bunch, good, good amount of separation right now with close to 10 games left. Uh, but a uh, big game tomorrow. Uh, no, I don't know if Sacramento's done playing yet, uh, but I know they had got a, a bigger lead against uh, the 76ers a while ago. But it's a big game tomorrow, and then the next game is a big game as well. So one game at a time, bro, but the Mavericks are, are clicking right now. Um, I don't know. I don't know if the Clippers lost as well. I don't know what's going on, bro, but, like, everything's still in reach. We just got to keep winning, bro. Just keep on winning. And um, that's what we're doing right now. So I'm proud of that. Um, so Sacramento's going to win. They played the 76. They're down they up by 13 with 31 seconds left. Okay. Paces are beating the Clippers handily. Oh, my goodness, bro. The hmm. Clippers are slipping, man, right now. They're slipping. Uh, let's see who else we're looking wow. at. Uh, that's it. Yeah, the Pelicans – I didn't play today. I don't oh, think. the Sun Court Suns lost. So Suns yeah. Part. So it's still a good day. If the Clippers lose. If the Clippers lose, I told you, man. Worry about who ahead of us, not behind us. If the Clippers lose, bro. I, bro, the Clippers uh, slip. That's gonna be crazy, bro. Fourth seed is still right there. That's that's ridiculous to think after all this time, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh <laughs> that note, man. Like I said, Dallas did their thing today, man. They took care of business. Uh it's, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna everything you said but i'm uh, just gonna highlight a few things uh like you said luca had another triple double uh he started off a little shaky man but kind of picked it up there especially the second half pj washington and Derek lively being an impact for us in the paint man once again the luxury of having two starting centers on the team bro it's a blessing man. we know we, we've never had that before it's something we've been asking for not well not two starting centers but just have two centers in general just two guys in the paint that could do something right Mm-hmm. We got our two guys who can legitly do something in the paint, bro. And that's, and so, like I said, that's just a blessing, bro. Um, like I said, like you said, Gafford being the paint press, he had five blocks today, man. Just being nasty in the paint. Uh, making guys second guess. PJ Washington kind of came alive a little bit. Shot 50% from the field today. Shot some uh, timely threes in the fourth quarter. Um, it was somebody else I was going to touch on before I touched on 10. I mean, that was pretty much. I mean, X, no, X did all right. Uh, Tim pretty much like you said, Tim stood out today, man. Um, like I said, he, he not he didn't, he didn't reflect in the points, but it was everything else. Uh, the passing and the the defense today, man. Some some timely rebounds too, man. He got he got a little got a little nasty there in the paint, man. Get snatching rebounds and stuff like that, man. So shout out to Tim. Uh, we just need we needed something from him, man. I, I think I heard you say that on uh, one of the playback shows. You know and I'm saying we needed him to do something, man. You got to provide something to him. You got to give us something because right now he's just out there. Um. Like you said, um, 
like I said, well, PJ, like I said, he didn't have his greatest defensive game today, man, but he stepped up for us in, uh, on, on the offensive end today, man. So shout out to him. Um, overall, man, like I said, it was a pretty solid win. Start, uh, coming out, you know, uh, you know, in the first quarter, it was a little sluggish. Fourth quarter, the defense was re- really revved up in the fourth quarter, man. Like I said, you saw Luca had some, some key defensive stops. You saw PJ getting his hands in the paint, I mean, in the uh, passing lanes. You saw Gafford throwing passes. <laughs> I mean, throwing shots into the no bleed section out there, man. Uh, just, just a pretty solid win today for the Maris, man. Like you said, take care of business against team they're supposed to beat. Um, I thought I ain't gonna lie, I thought Jordan Clarkson would have came out and been a little bit more aggressive today. They did pretty good on him. Um, Colin Sexton too. He kind of came out a little early. He came out early in the game, but then after that, I didn't hear anything else from him. Um, Lori Markin had a better game today, so we got got to give him props on that. I think he had thirty four today, so. I mean, like I said, overall, man, we held them to 105, so that, that defensive rating is going to look even better now. Uh, it was 105 for, like, 42% from the field, you know, 33% from three. So, you know what I'm saying? It, the, numbers, the numbers are looking better for us on the defensive end, man. So, so shout-out to him, man. Like you said, got to give props to Kid. Kid pressing all the right buttons right now. Uh, out of, out of uh, timeout plays, his uh, rotations. He's keeping lively and for the most part, he's keeping lively and in uh, Gafford in yeah, at the two main centers. So got to give him that. Um, and also, too, like you said, man, the way he's the way he got these guys playing right now, man, you definitely got to give him props on that. Um, like I said, man, the real test is going to be tomorrow, man. I really, I thought we should have had a day in between, but I guess we can't complain. We had three days off. I mean, they got, they got one too, though. It's a back to back for them as well. So, oh, yeah, that's right, dude. Yeah, you're right. So, only thing is, they're going to be at home. No, they're at home right now. Yeah. They probably got a, a little bit of a leg up on us on that, but uh, we'll see. Um, I mean, that's all, that's all I got, King. Uh, it was like I said, solid win for the Mavs today. Uh, they're constantly uh, taking they're taking care of business and they're, they're growing as a unit right now. Uh, they're peaking at the right time. Shout out to the Clippers. Uh, so, <laughs> luckily for us, we're peaking at the right time. Because at the same time last year, man, we was on a downfall. So, bro, they have um, they had forty one points in the first quarter. Yep, first quarter, and I think they didn't even score. What they scored twenty in the second quarter. It was like twenty four or something like that in the second. Yeah, quarter. second quarter. I think in this quarter they only scored uh so like fifteen. Yeah, they were getting the Mavericks were shutting them down at the first quarter. Yeah, I think they said they interviewed uh, Dudley at halftime. He kind of touched on that, bro. He was like, "Yeah, we got to do a little bit better on the defensive side. We're doing that in the second quarter. And like you said, from the second quarter on down, man, they they looked a whole lot better on defense. You could tell like they were a little rusty. You know, they've been off for 815 days, bro. So, you know, it is what it is. You definitely wouldn't think they would would almost hold them under 100 after giving them 40 in the first quarter, though. Yeah, if they didn't give them 40, they would have had them under 100. Oh, they would have. But they gave him 40 in the first quarter, and they still only got 105. So that was an awesome defensive job by the Mavericks. Mavericks been incredible right now on defense. Oh, yeah. Man, we just need one more P.J. Washington, bro. I keep saying that. But, but yeah. Uh, but, yes, I like pretty much God, man. You got anything you want to add? No. Same thing, basically. Like I said, Luka was, Luka was shooting a little bit too many threes for me today. Yeah. We, we started off like 0 for 5 in the game. Yeah. He, yeah. Was, he was jacking him up. And he didn't really have his legs under him. But he made some – he made some, some – Huge ones at the end of the game, though. So mm-hmm. it is what it is, man. But all right, man. Let's get to the next seven minutes. Let's get to the game. Oh. All right, King, who you giving the game ball to tonight, man? Uh oh. You gonna make somebody- B. You're gonna make a couple guys very happy tonight, man. I'm proud of you, man. Johnny B is for you, man, tonight. Johnny B, this one's for you. Pause. But uh yeah, Tim Hardaway Jr., bro. He was he, Look, he stood out tonight, like you said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He definitely definitely stood out, bro. Couple guys I want to highlight here, man. Uh, like I said, I want to highlight PJ Washington. He did pretty solid today, especially on the offensive end. And uh, but my I'm giving the game ball to this man here, man. The landlord, Daniel Gafford, bro. Got to give it to him tonight, man. Like I said, uh, I mean, we had uh, what do you have? Oh, 11 rebounds. He had five blocks. Uh, five assists. Five assists. Yeah, man. Like, real solid today, man. So, shout out to Daniel Gafford, man. Just being an impact for us in the paint, bro. 
man. I, I, once again, got a shout out Rashad Phillips, man, because he called it. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Rashad Phillips. He called it. He said, if we got Daniel Gafford on this team, man, he would be a huge impact for this team. And he's what are you doing right now? So, so shout out to him, man. All right, bro. Let's get to the main uh, part of the show, man. Yes, sir, man. Questions and comments from the Glow Yard, man. Y'all already know how we do this, man. Listen, if you got any questions, any comments addressing me and King here, man, we ask that you hit us with the WTM in front of your question or your comment. And we ask you to be respectful in the comment section, guys. And also, too, if we have any super chats, we'll address the super chats first. No super chats, King, so take it away, man. What up, Thomas? He's a Glow Yard member. He says, took care of business tonight. Boys, nothing real inspiring. A sour note is that TGK on playback, Stan Timmy, was making me physically ill. I used to really think highly of him. Never meet your heroes. <laughs> oh, oh, man. man. Uh, Nancy says, hey, fellas. What up, Nancy? What up, Nancy? Uh, how are you doing tonight? Can't complain. Uh, when is the win? Or when is a win, I guess? Yes. I don't care how it looks as long as it's a win. Not really surprised. We started out slow after that three-day layoff. Yes. Uh, Pasquale, he's a Glow Yard member, says, what's up, fellas? What up? What's up? He said, Mavs are on a decent streak now, aren't they? Good to see a baseball uh, back-to-back win. Yes, that's tough. Just like the tree back-to-back tomorrow. Yes. He also says, hoping that three balls starts dropping. Mavs still winning without it. It's been a while since MFFL can say that. Yes. Uh, Thomas says, now that Timmy made a whole two three-pointers, Hardy goes back to the bench, then proceeds to go 0 for 7. His defense was passable, but kill me. Uh, no, if we are going to regress back to this bull corner. Mm. Oh, uh, Div. He's uh, a Glow Yard member. He says he's gifted one We Talk Mass membership, man. Appreciate you, Div. Appreciate you. Please let us know who you are. Yeah, let us know who got the. Yeah, let, who, let us know who received it. Uh, Latte. The Glow Yard member, he says, ugly win, but we take it. Yes. Yes, no complaints. Nancy <laughs> says, so glad to see PJ, THJ get some timely buckets. Not sure why we went to with Maxi in the last two minutes there. Just had to kind of hold your breath a little bit. I just want to keep the score low for Utah. I feel you. Yeah, I think kind of like what King said, I think it's, I think he got comfortable when we went up by 12, I guess. Yeah. Uh, Latte says, PJ, two corner threes. He's maybe back. Gaff, five times five, man. You see how big Shaq uh, was that DW with it? Got another Shaq, or um, I guess was that Derek Lively? I guess he meant no, probably the White. Uh, the White, the White. We got another Shaq off the bench in development. Uh, we need to win tomorrow. Very exciting. Maybe he is talking about the White. Kareem Abdul Power. Wow, man. Uh, Pasquale also says game ball to PJ, game sneakers to Luca doing that thing. Who gets the Golden Gun, Golden Eye Award tonight? Pete, uh, Tim Hardaway, Jimmy. Yeah, Tim Hardaway, man. Uh, Latte says, here's a receipt since Ro likes to bet King's house on everything. Count me in. If Mavs don't make it to the Western Conference Finals, you guys can change my name all you want. Mm, we'll see. We'll see. I don't got a problem with you, Latte. Uh, Thomas says, anybody else concerned Luca's efficiency starting to fade? Also, he backs it looking like recovery bid Luca three games. He just hasn't looked right, but all, but hopefully it's just a natural ebb and flow thing. Yeah, his efficiency been down a little bit, but he had a, he almost had fifty percent the last game though. He was like one shot away. Yeah, yeah, he was. What he was eleven for twenty. Eleven twenty three. Oh yeah, yeah. 20. Eleven. I said twenty five. Twenty three. Yeah. Uh, Gina Kim says, "Hey fellas, what up, Gina Kim?" She's a glow y'all. Uh, she says that was almost an ugly win, but I'm glad they stopped trolling and finally got the win. Uh, Tim was okay, I guess. It's hard to compliment him because he follows it up by doing something stupid. I feel you. Uh, Corey with the four ninety nine don't know he's a glow yard member. He says much love, guys. We move. I hope Josh is back soon. Could use his shooting. True. Yeah. You have the boot. Uh, no, no Louisiana. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Dave is a glow yard member. He says people saying PJ is a bad pickup will end up regretting it in the playoffs and next season. This guy's a worker in practice and he will improve that three point shot. Look out! I believe it did. Yeah, I ain't got no. I believe in cheating PJ Washington. I do as well. Uh, Gina Kim says, game ball to Luke Kyle Jail. Tim gets an honorable mention instead. I'm happy he did well, though. If 
if only kid took him out in the fourth, I would give it to him. Uh, but he didn't, and he was trash. Bro, you know they tried to do a two man game against uh Luke and Kyrie on a, on a few possessions in a row. Luke and Kyrie shut that down. Yep. So shout out to them, man. I also saw at the end of the game that Luke and Kyrie was running a two man game, and uh, Larry Marketing didn't know what to do. He was yelling to the coach, asking, uh, "What should I do?" Because he he started doubling towards Kyrie, but he was like, "If I double towards Kyrie, I'm leaving Luka Doncic wide open." So shout out to Jason Kidd, man. Uh, Jenny, oh, I read that one. Sorry, Latte says uh, game ball. To Mr. Big Gafford or PGL. Both are so good. Can't believe we got them. Nico cooking. Please cook one more time in this offseason. The Mavs can fly. Now, Gina Kim said, I will give Tim his flowers for playing defense, though. That's been more consistent than his shots falling. So shout out to Tim. Uh, he was playing like he wanted to get his minutes back. Hmm. Uh, Dave says, Is it me or do I feel like when Luca has an awful game, the man still gets triple doubles and has points? I just don't get it, man. It's strange as hell. His last two weeks have been bad. He bro, you probably be a Luca stand, Dave. You supposed to know you, you, I, this should be new to you. It shouldn't be new to you. I mean, you a Luca stand, man. What's going on? Gina Kim says, I hope this was a sign for PJ to get shots going. Seemed like he locked himself in PJ to make sure he's locked in. He deactivated his Insta, so he's serious about knocking down those shots. Don't worry. Oh, he did for real. Yeah, he was he uh locked down everything blacked out. And he was supposedly in the gym heavy as far as shooting threes and all that. Yeah, it's, it's, they showed him the last few days in yeah. the gym. Uh, TGK, he's a glow yard member. Y'all, he's also the host of the unofficial official Mavs pregame show. Uh, he says, Thank y'all for everything y'all do. These next two versus the Kings, a playoff level game. The intensity tomorrow is going to be through the roof. And then the shots emoji. Appreciate you, TGK. Same to you, bro. And yes, sir. What's tomorrow? Tuesday. Tuesday, yeah. Uh, Thomas says, Sacramento has been. And is my worst fear for the Mavs. I absolutely want no part of them in the playoffs. We cannot keep up with them. I'm interested to see what these next two games look like with PJ and Gaff. My guy Frank's a glow yard member. He says, hashtag Suns and Foe. Suns are like the worst fourth quarter team in the league, feel like. Noah's a glow yard member. He says, Suns and Foe. <laughs> Shout out to Trey. Uh, Noah also says, Luke is getting the MVP if we keep winning. I hope the voters saw a shape performance against the Bucks when he didn't have all the free throws. He scored 12 points. Mm. And, and he, I heard he's no longer the second in the league in scoring. Mm. Uh, Luke says, how that work, huh? Good afternoon, King and Row. What up, Luke? What up? Uh, very important win today. Must split series with Kings at a minimum. Would be great to win tomorrow. Yes, facts. We win tomorrow. We probably going to win both of them. We win the first one. I think we won both. Uh, Noah says when Luca has a bad shooting, he can still impact the game. That's what makes him different. Facts. Yep. Uh, DV, Glow Yard member. He says, what up, fellas? What up, what up? Good win. Uh, sadly, we couldn't hold six, but we got uh, seven sons and four. Yes. Yeah, uh, Kings in the win and mess that up. That's all right, though. We got we, we can take care of the Kings ourselves. What about everybody else? The Clippers, man. I'm telling you, watch them Clippers. I told y'all that a while ago. Uh, DV says Pace is spanking that Wes about to bust open. Hey, DV. Tell Bro, him, DV. They might be the worst team right now amongst the top eight teams in the, in the West. Or should Clippers, I say top ten teams in the West? Clippers might end up six. Yep. That's what it's looking like right now. They were banking on, like, Westbrook getting back and all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, Latte says, uh, did I just hear, uh, says Suns and Fall? Uh, they can't even get to the four against uh, Spurs three and one in the season series is over for them. Yeah, man, they lost three one, bro. Hey, and, and Wimby didn't even play tonight. I know. Uh, Noah says Sabonis is on a tear right now, fifty four straight double doubles, but ain't worried. We got two centers in Powell. The Kings only have one. Facts. <laughs> uh, Pez Crowley said these next. I didn't realize two, what he just said. These next two, two centers games in Powell. and Powell uh, could decide the season, but Pelicans and Clippers making it interesting for Mavs and Kings. A game of runs, yes. Uh, yeah, the says, Pelicans ain't got this. They, every time I look up, they playing G League Ignite or something. Yeah, like that. they about to have a harder stretch coming up. Though they, they had That's like what everybody keeps saying. They you had sure? an easy part. Yes, they had e like five easy games, and then like they about to have like ten in a row. Damn near of like Good, tough games man. coming up. But I mean, the way they winning right now, though, we'll see, man. We'll see if Brandon Ingram if that Brandon Ingram injury impacts him at all. But like. I told you it's probably gonna be us in the Pelicans. This is what it looks like right and now. Then they play uh 
They played Detroit, I think, tonight, bro. I'm like, God, I ain't, bro. You scared of that matchup if it's us and the Pelicans first round? Nah, I ain't really scared of nobody, bro. Four or five? Uh, Noah says, this Luke is what I like to see. He is trying to pass first, especially when his shot ain't falling. He ain't jacking up shots. Facts. How many assists the other day? 11, 12? Uh, yeah, it's 13. 13. So he is. 12 rebounds, 13 assists. So he's six. He needs six. He needs six more. If he can get 16 assists next game, he'll be at 10 assists a game. He's six mm-hmm. away. He need to make up six. I think he'll get it before the season. I think he's going to get the 10 assists. I think he. I think he, he's going to get there. Uh, let's see. Div says, Ro, I like the new cut scenes you got going on. Pretty fancy. Looks great. Love it. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Johnny B's a glow yard member. He says Mavs win, so no negativity will be presented. Everybody played well anyways. Hashtag Mavs roll. Hashtag glow yard. What up? Sometimes, Johnny B, man. Sometimes I'll be telling you, like you a changed man, but then it's like. <laughs> One so, thing happened. Uh, he's like, oh, I made a trash your team ever. <laughs> like him, he says, uh, he says, now that we have taken care of business, I can truly say these next two games could push Luca to the front of the MVP race. Both games will be tough, but I think they can pull it out. No Diddy. Hey, uh, oh, wow. man. <laughs> <laughs> Diddy is the new, uh, no, yeah, what is it? Pause. Yeah, pause. Yeah, yeah, basically, is, is no Diddy. Yeah. Uh, Matt says, uh, Mavs win. All I have to say, kids playing Gafford more. I just need to, these two wins against the Kings. Very big, and we need to lock in, lock in now. Yeah, man. Like I told you today, with the Suns losing, today was huge because it puts us basically two games ahead of the Suns now. And if we beat this, the beat the Kings both games, bro. Like, woo, woo, woo. You think Luke could get the MVP if he win both games? If we sweep that series. I hope so. Man. You think that's it? You think that might be it? That I, I don't know about the MVP, but I think we are locking in a, a playing spot then. And I play, oh, we uh, play off absolutely. We we. You might be fifth at that point because man, the Clippers, what two games ahead of us in the loss column now? Matter of fact, why are you doing that? Keep talking. Go ahead. Uh, Noah said, What happened with Boston? But yet, people was going to say Boston is a team to beat. Yeah, right. Boston will get to 60, though, aren't they? It's Boston, Boston got close to 60 once. Hmm. Uh, Johnny B says, Is Gafford better than Tyson Chandler was for us right now? Yeah, yeah, because Tyson wasn't doing this offensively. I'll tell you that. No disrespect. But- yeah, I mean, like this dude, this dude just doing five by fives, bro. Uh, Gina Kim says, "I'm nervous for tomorrow. We can't afford to lose these next two games. King's already up to. Uh, we don't need kid acting cute and taking us out the game. We know how he coaches against fast paced teams." Yeah. Uh, Noah said, "The Clippers are derailing. It's so bad. Hard and contested Kawhi shots." Yeah. All right, let's see. Yeah. Since the All Star break, I think they only won one game against a, a winning team. Something like that. Yeah. Yep. Two games, bro. Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. They, fell a fi- they fell a five. Oh. Done. They five now. I told you. I done told you. Did the, did the Clippers lose? Is it, a, is it over? They lost today? I'm sorry. I'm going to keep reading. Why are you doing that? Uh, Gina says, great character development from Johnny. Every time his boy has a good game, he doesn't break. Yeah, he's oh, final. Positivity. Bro, tell me that fourth seed ain't available, bro. Tell me it ain't still right there, man. Tell me it ain't. Yo, that's crazy, Tell me bro. it's not right there. We two games away from the fourth seed. Bro, the Clippers were about to be the number, the number one, one seed, seed. bro. Yep. They were tied. It was like four-way tie we between them, Minnesota, yeah, Denver, and Oklahoma City. Jesus, yep. bro, that's crazy, bro. They're going to end up being a six seed, bro. They dropped to five. DV said clip is down 20. Let's go. Yes, sir. Still, it ain't over yet. No, it's crazy. What a roller coaster of a season. After all that happened this season, we have a chance for the fourth seed. Yep. Corey yep, said, we only we only two games. Two games, bro. Four seed, boy. Two- one and one, so one win and one L makes us one game behind them, bro. That's it. One game, one win with them losing one puts us one game behind them. But still, how many left? Ten. Uh, we gotta be. 13? We gotta go. We gotta go eight and eleven. So eleven for us. We got eleven games left. That's yeah, we it. gotta go eight and three. If we go eight and eight three, three, we get you're right. Yep. Eight. So we got eleven. Still got over ten games left, bro. 
and only that's two games crazy. behind. That's crazy, bro. Uh, Noah says, Luca. Hey, if they fall to a playing game. spot, would that be the, the biggest collapse this year? I don't think they're going to fall that far. You think so? I mean, they could technically. I mean, they, really, they could. Damn. I'm not saying they're going to, but. I'm I mean, saying. if we beat. It's not so, crazy, bro. So, I'm going to tell you this. If we beat Sacramento both times, they're not. If we beat Sacramento both times, I don't think the Clippers are going to fall to the player. Mm. But it's not impossible. But I'm just saying, if we beat them twice and they get to 31, I think the Clippers got too much of a, a lead on them with, like, less than 10 games remaining there. Oh, okay. So you, just, you feel yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I think they're going to be the seventh seed at least. Like, the Clippers are going to have the sixth seed. But if we go one and one, though, uh, Noah says Luca has 9.9 .9 assists right now. So basically 34, 9, and 10. Yep. He needs to make up six, and he'll be at that. Yeah, at is least that kind of like man. that year Dirk got that nine, 9.9 .9 rebounds? Dirk could never get that 10 rebounds in a regular season, bro. <laughs> I hated that, that, that man. Bro, like, get that 10 and start get playing. 10, man. Man. It's like, nah, man, no double. Nah, I don't worry about it. I'll get in the playoffs. Yeah, you got in the playoffs, though. They, they always forget about that. Uh, mm -hmm. Gina Kim said we got Legler, Roy Hibbert, and the casual media talking about Luka. He's close to getting the MVP. He just needs the seedings. I, only, I honestly think Luka and Giannis should be leading, not joking, SGA. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I can't say nothing, man. They call me call me racist and all kind of things. When I say Luca should be over Joker, wow. Why are you being racist, King? I know. Wow. Uh, Luke says game ball. Daniel Gafford another 10 10 5 5 game. His career average assists uh, less than one per game. Thirteen assists in the last three games. Yep. Uh, Kareem says it was a Kareem as well. Sorry, he says why do we only have thirteen players on the rosters while Jazz had got fifteen. You gonna have thirteen? Uh, I don't. I don't know. Uh, I don't. I don't know, Kareem. I'm sorry. I don't know. Uh, Frank says off topic, but words on the street. Uh, Jazz fans don't want to play. Don't want to pay marketing because they're now learning he's not a number one. Duh. I mean, yeah. Like, why would you not pay him though and go get somebody? Else? Okay, yeah. well, we, we'll take him. I would say we'll take him. If you don't want to pay him, you know he wanted he wanted to come to Dallas a few years ago. So we can put him, can put him beside PJ. Yeah, I should man. Listen, uh, Noah says Westbrook might be the most valuable for the Clippers ever since he went out. They've been slipping. He is the energy boost off the bench. Yeah, Westbrook, that dude, man. Uh, Johnny B says so. If Kid keeps this up and we win a playoff series or two, y'all still want him fired? I mean, he nah. He won't, he I mean, we get up. Man. Yeah, he had he he would get a contract extension in Johnny. Yeah, I mean, we'll see next year then. Johnny B. It is what it is, though. Sharky says, question, it seems like Denver will finish first and Clippers are falling. Would you rather stay at six, avoid Denver, or go for fourth seed? Go for fourth seed. Yeah, I want to go for fourth seed, man. That, that way you get a home you get home court advantage, please, first round. Yep. And you never know what's going to happen, Sharky. Like, somebody could upset somebody and you'd have home court, for, like, further down the line. Ain't yeah, that what Golden me. State had? When we, was, when we didn't get the fourth seed against Golden State or something like that, wasn't it? Well, go to say the third seed, wasn't it? They yeah, yeah, they, they, they got out. home. Yeah, they got home court because we missed out on the third seed because we played around that game or whatever like that. Nigga, the third seed. Hmm. Yeah, we had the four seed that year. Yep. Uh, Gina Kim says uh, Kings are okay at home. It'll come down to who wants it more. It'll definitely be close, and we'll probably have the clutch uh, both games. But if our D is solid enough, we should be good. Yeah. Plus, they beat us twice already, right? Yeah, we're gonna beat us. Uh, Noah said the Clippers will always clip, and if we beat Sacramento tomorrow off a of back to back, the J Kid is the guy. Yeah, he is right now. Give him his credit. Uh, GD said, "What up, guys? What up, GD? What up? Uh, excuse me. Good to see you both. I uh, hope you're doing good. Not the best win we ever had, but I'll take it. Everyone matters at this point. Great to see PJ make two clutch threes. That was huge. Yeah. You see, the good teams all lose today, right? Or get their behinds whipped. Come back from Atlanta on uh, Boston." Yeah, I didn't, I didn't get the list of demand in there. I want to hear that. I want to hear what Matt got to say, bro. So if that if that was happening today, was a day for trap games, and uh, we avoided it. So I'm fine. And we were in Utah, where we barely ever win. We won what? One of our last 15 or 16 games there. One of our last 14. Four there, yeah, like yeah, we lost. I think they I think they said we lost 13 out of the last 14 games in Utah in the regular and I think, season. I think that one game was the game with with like Josh Green was going off, right? Yeah, Josh Green and Hardy went off. Yep, and won a game for us. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, Johnny B says, yeah, King, finally my boy gets some respect. Yeah, I got you, Johnny B. I ain't gonna yeah, lie. He did. Yeah, he did good, man. We're gonna call it out if he do good, bro. Uh, we not haters, Johnny. 
Jeter Kim says, I didn't like how we kept settling for threes at times, stay in the paint. But we did have some open threes that should have went down. But come playoff time, I'm positive we'll get hot or maybe not. I don't know. We'll be fine, y'all. I'm telling y'all. And uh, Johnny said to Frank, you see Ro trying to step his production up. It's all about getting better, Johnny. Uh, Gina says, we have to make sure we don't come out sluggish tomorrow like we did today. It's important to build an early lead. We also need to prepare for the refs. Kings will oh, definitely God. have an advantage. I want to see if they can keep us bonus in check, though, man. So I don't know if you paid attention tonight, man. I heard somebody bring this. Up. It's, it's, it, it's been going around. So uh, calls per games have been going down Yeah. here over the last like month or so. And uh, the way this game was refereed today kind of made me think about that, what they what folks were saying about the calls being going down and all that stuff. Uh, Gina has a point on that. I'm going to need Dallas to keep their head in the game tomorrow, bro. Do not let the referee take you out this game tomorrow. Nope. Because they're not going to call a lot of calls right now. And like you said, the way that the, uh, the Kings play at home, the way Sabonis has been playing, expect, expect for it to be physical, man. Yep. Only thing is, if you're gonna be physical, let it both be physical. Luke is now a glow yard member. He says, uh, thanks, Dad, for the membership. Shout out to you, Luke. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate both of y'all. Uh, he also says, Great to see the white power rise on the all time Mavs most matches played today. The white's a legend, man. Can't wait to see his jersey retired. Oh, god, and he knows uh, Latte says, DW. Oh, don't worry, worry. not the white power. Okay. My bad. Uh Johnny B said, I hope PJ can guard the bonus tomorrow because he's on a tear. Now I don't I don't I don't, I don't think, think he's gonna start on him though. Yeah. yeah, I don't think he's gonna be guarding Sabonis. Sabonis played a five. It, it, it'd be it'll be Gafford and Lively guarding him tomorrow. Yeah. Like I said, I think PJ, I think they'll put him on uh Harrison Barnes. Well, I think is Harrison is he, I think he's ain't he out? Is he out? I think he out, bro. Oh he might be. I was, I was gonna say uh Keegan Murray. Oh, I yeah, yeah, I forgot about probably, Keegan. Probably put him on him. Uh, Dave says the lock on jazz host, the, the two guys who know ball, they said that the Mavs to them look amazing when they played the two man game with Kai and Luca and said it was impossible to go with Gafford. That's what I was uh, saying. Nah, he, played, he played today. It was it was one point where I saw Laurie marketing like yelling to the coaches when Kyrie had the ball saying, what should I do? Should I leave or should I stay on my guy? I was like, oh, come on, Jason kid. Ray says we are one Mikel Bridges move away, and we are the favorite to win it all. Yeah, we can get somebody like a Mikel Bridges or Herb Jones or something at that three. Game over. Yeah, might go ahead and put us in in in, in the in the finals. Oh, thing. Uh, Luke says fifty one season still would play eight and three on the way home. Yeah, I'd be pretty disappointed at this point. If they don't get fifty. That's how I feel. Yeah, me too. Uh, Div says, man, imagine being a Suns fan. If they get knocked out in the play-in, what does that team do? Damn, if KD wants out, what then? LOL, you ain't getting as much as you gave. Devin Booker got asked for a trade. Uh, Booker got asked for a trade. Booker going to demand a trade, bro. That's why they're going to lose Devin. They're going to get KD and Bill and lose Booker. Wouldn't that be wild? Oh, man, bro. I just want y'all to stop. I want y'all to just let's, let's take a second here, bro. Think about this, bro. Think about how much money they spent on that team if they get knocked out at a play-in, y'all. There is no way. They're already over the second apron already. Yeah. There's not a lot they can do. All they can really do is sign their guys back on one-year deals that are free agents this summer. There's not a lot they can do. They banked everything on bills on the bill trade and the, the KD trade last year. So Bradley oh, Bill. Bradley Bill either dislocated or broke his ring thing on the shooting the end of the day. Yeah, man. Shout out to Richard for saying Tim Hardaway Jr. was going to be better than Bradley Bill this year, man. Bro, we, we was told. <laughs> no. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. <laughs> I ain't going to even harp on it, bro. Jesus Christ. I'm with you, man. I, I, don't, I could be a, a Suns fan right now. That's crazy, bro. Gina Kim says Katie and Booker choking is no surprise. We know who they are, sons and foe. Mm. I mean, Gina Kim said, Wouldn't be surprised if McGee played tomorrow. Yeah, he probably will. Yeah, he probably will. Uh, Gina Kim said, Do y'all think the Clippers suck because of no rust? Yes. Media was hyping up the Clippers, saying they figured it out. We also know who they are. We're supposed to be scared of them in the playoffs. I told y'all, Russell Westbrook is a leader. 
He's been a leader his whole his entire career. He was a leader with KD. He was a leader. Remember the Washington Wizards with Bradley Bill? They got to the playoffs because of Russell Westbrook. He was a leader in Houston when Houston. That's how they went. Remember Houston was trash at the beginning of the season with, with uh, James Harden and then when Russell Westbrook took the uh, the reins or whatever year the year of, I think the bubble or whatever they started taking off whatever again that year. Like Russell Westbrook is a pure leader and with the Clippers he's the same thing. Like I love Russ. It's just remember they they moved Capella for Russ. Yep. Oh man, I am Clippers. Uh, Pasquale says, "Ro, I'm scared of the Nuggets, the champs, and the Kings at the fast pace. Who is the one playoff team y'all see being trouble in seven? The Nuggets. I think y'all gonna be surprised with how we play the Kings tomorrow. Bro. You know what I mean? You feel the same way, bro? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not worried about this. Uh, like I said, it, just play your game, bro." If yeah. you start trying to do that extra stuff, you know what I'm saying, and then you don't, of course. I don't think Sacramento can stop our game. From what I've seen from Sacramento's team, I don't think if we play our game, they can stop us. Matter of fact, hold on, let me see some. Sacramento is uh, okay. Never mind, they're seven and three in the last uh, ten games. Okay, never mind. I don't know why I thought they lost a few games here over the last. They got like, bailed 10 out. Games. Remember the last? Oh, and they uh, got bailed. Yeah, and they got bailed out. Yeah, they ain't been looking too. They ain't been looking unbeatable. Yeah, they ain't been looking dominant or they nothing. You know what I'm saying? Games. So. Uh, Latte says Dev and JB being positive. Remember, they lost to the Wizards too. Uh, but he says Dev and JB being positive. This is not real. Someone go check their laptop. Uh, something ain't right. Dev says Game Seven book is special. Was in full of full force tonight. And Kevin don't want the ball in the clutch. If I have to dribble, Durant is finished. What a steal by the Nets. Hmm. What happened to that guy? The Nets want to uh, trade guys. I never seen them say that about the, about the Suns. Hey man, uh, the, the Mavericks lost the trade. Frank says everybody's saying they're scared of the Kings, but I'm scared of the refs. A lot of teams lack center depth. Uh, if kid is truly smart, he plays through our center depth. That uh, hashtag and Nico we trust brought us. Yes, facts, Frank. So we were just That's saying. What I'm saying just do your just play your game, bro. Don't play into their game. Uh, Gina Kim said, "If we get fourth or fifth seed, I'll be more comfortable getting the Pels in the first round than the Clippers." Imagine that Mavs fourth seed, Pels fifth seed, and the Clippers six. Not bad, yeah. Dang, boy, that'd be crazy, bro. If the Clippers fell to six, now we gotta get JP on the show again if uh, that matchup happens. Uh, yeah. Div said, "If we beat the Kings back to back, we will get fourth overall." In my opinion, that's how I feel, Div. Yeah, we that's why I said this this fourth. game tomorrow and in, in the this series against the Clippers, I me mean Clippers. I guess the Kings is very, 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 very important. It can, it can, it can change some things in the West. Yep. Uh, Mr. Gucci, what up? He's a glow yard member. He says that one-handed tomahawk dunk was nasty by the landlord. He is a beast. Yes. That put back. Man, where you been, Mr. Gucci? I ain't seen you been in a while. He be a playback. Gucci. Uh, Frank says, kid better stop playing all the time. Uh, Latte says, Clippers sink and ship. They don't have identity. I also heard Kawhi not really a leader. No. It's over. Clippers, son, uh, they are so screwed right now. That's not Kawhi game. Kawhi just go out there and do his job. That's yep. it. Be a machine. Uh, Gina Kim said Houston been the hottest team in the league right now, close, getting closer to the 10th seed while the Warriors been struggling. It's funny watching these contending teams struggle after the media hyped them up. You mm. know um, you know the Lakers. You know the Houston Rockets. would love to see the Lakers in the play in. Yeah, they beat them 3-1 this year. Yeah, and you know that whole um, – oh, 2-1. One, one or two. Okay, that right. whole – what is it? Uh, Udoka and um, LeBron James. Oh yeah, man, your boy. Uh, what's his name with the dancing? Uh, uh, Dylan Brooks. Div says uh, next season we get Clippers, Paul George, and their coach. It's over. Woohoo! Let's go. <laughs> uh, Frank says I counted seven teams in the West that have no center depth. West is really open. Yes. Uh, Thomas says y'all see what shoes Luca had on tonight? Were they the Luca threes? They look like uh, K Swiss high tops. I didn't. I thought it was Luca two. I had the uh, Luca twos on all white Luca twos. Uh, Div says my MVP standing Luca one, Giannis two, Joker three, Kyrie four, bam, Kyrie five, and six SGA five merchant. Hold on, hold on, Div. I thought you said uh, you said SGA was your pick, man. You picking SGA, man? Div, you gotta come on, man. You gotta. <laughs> yeah, man. Gina gotta... Kim says <laughs> everything is falling into place. All the injuries, drama, G will, uh, and mm. tears weren't for nothing. We did our best to win the difficult games in the past, just for us to win the easy ones now. Yep. Take care of the games you're supposed to. What we always talk about. Well, I don't. I don't hear G Will's name no more. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. uh, Div says Lakers one month ago free throw differential was plus three twenty five, with the excuse me next highest being one eighty one as of now. Lake is up to plus 420. Mm, 420. Damn. Talk about rigged and wanting LeBron in the playoffs. LOL. The Lakers have terrible defense, bro. How you did I get a ninth, tenth seed and you got a plus 420 free throw differential? You said what now? How are you the ninth, tenth seed? Mm -hmm. You got a plus 420 free throw differential. Mm. That makes make sense. Um, Gucci says uh, we have big D now. No Diddy. I'm loving the fact we have D, no Diddy 100. Yeah, Gucci, it's wild, man. We probably about to find out some wild, like, historical stuff about old rappers and all that now. Information we want to know, man. Bro, that's my wife was saying. She was like, man, watch you go Bro. the next few days. She was like, watch you going to start hearing about right, people. It's real stuff, man. Like, man. Some, when your your idols become rivals, man, you, you stay around long enough. They always do. Take that, take that. Uh, Gina says, if big if. Big if we get the fourth seed, then Lucas should automatically get the MVP. He's had historic historical season so far, and through all the injuries, we're still in the playoffs. Need more PR for Lucas. I think if we get the fourth seed, if they don't give him the, the MVP with the fourth seed, bro, like they should riot. Like I'm, I'm, I'm for real. Like we want to know why. We need everybody that has a vote and all that to explain to us why. What he had to do. What was he not doing? Hey man, shout out to that dude who video you Jimmy, sent me. He kind of said the same thing. Jimmy High Roller, shout out to Jimmy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he said the because same thing. Kyrie's not not uh, eligible for the any award. He's literally not eligible for anything. So you know he had to miss time for him to be in that situation. So why isn't Luca the MVP if he gets the fourth seed? Uh, Johnny B says the Rockets are point five games behind Golden State Warriors. The Rockets might be the scariest team in the league right now. Mm. They got one of the best coaches, Johnny B. And Shangun not even playing. That's crazy. Yeah. Uh. I'm going to say Manzi Kevin said Kings won. Damn. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Steve says all streaks have to come. Pause. Yes, Steve. Uh, GD says seeing people using 77's hamstring is an excuse for his efficiency issue. His hamstring isn't exactly fine, but he regularly checked and cleared by medical staff. It isn't the hammy that's causing this. No, I think he's just having it. Just shooting. He'll be fine. I wouldn't be surprised Luke come out like tomorrow and shoot like 60% from the field or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not I'm not worried about Luca. Uh Gina Kim said I did hear about that. Seems like the refs stopped calling fouls for us since the beginning of the season, but not for others. Uh so we should be used to it by now and just stay focused playing our game. Yeah, we like middle of the pack and free throw differential when we got Kyrie and Luca. That's wild to think. Yeah, it's because your your number two don't shoot free throws. Hmm. Your number one, Billy D two. Uh, Frank says, FYI, it's just the Jazz fans, but I'm hearing them talk about they should keep marketing a second or third option or trade him and have a chance for a high pick to uh, SAR or Cooper Flag. Yeah, I would keep Larry as a second or third option. Absolutely. You don't. Larry made the all star game. He's, he's a 20 point a game uh, score that's efficient and all that. Like, hell yeah, that's foolish. What does Cooper Flag do this year? I haven't heard his name this year. I didn't think he was, he was automatically going to be better than Marker. Uh, Gina Kim said, I think I think KD would ask for a trade before Booker would. I think Book likes the Suns franchise. Do y'all think they would trade Bill instead and try to keep KD and Booker or they can't trade them? I think they if they trade KD, though, they're going to get pennies on the dollar. Like they gonna, they already got, when they did it, thought they were doing the pennies on the dollar thing. They're going to get pennies on the dollar this time. So they may need Book to ask for a trade. So once again, they're over the second threshold, mm -hmm. which means they have to trade. An even swap for for KD. Whoever they trade KD for, it has to be a one of one trade, and it, and it has to be an uh, equal contract. Yep. Not five percent off, not three percent close, none of that. It has to be if KD's making fifty million, they have to trade another fifty million contract. I don't know people, especially after the way KD's like reputation is becoming. What people talking about him not being a bus driver and all that stuff. I don't know if folks yeah. willing to give up guys that make KD money for KD. Especially like who you who are you gonna give up? Who are you gonna give up? Usually, guys who make it fifty or one of the top echelon type players in the league, yeah. you're not gonna give that up for KD, bro. And then you can't. I think you can't trade like a cat for KD because cat make it too much. So that don't work. You feel me? Like this? Yeah, because cat I think is making sixty. Yeah, cat about to make sixty. I think yeah. so. Frank says uh, Nurkic also sprained his ankle or something today, so they pit, they play KD as a small ball five and have no center depth. They cooked. Lol. Yes. 
Oh, mm-hmm. Steven says all streaks have to come to an end, even Dwight's one rebound per minute streak. Uh, Sharky says, I need the same smoke for the Warriors if they fall out. NBA today, we're making excuses for them and feeling sorry for Curry. But with us, no contacts last year. I don't understand no, these mm-hmm. damn uh, Warriors and these Lakers, bro. I don't mm-hmm. understand it. Like, we've been waiting this whole year talking about the Warriors and the Lakers when they've been a the nine and the 10th seed the whole year. The literally the whole year. The whole year. And we keep talking about, you know what? Who, could, who has a better chance to come out of the, the bottom? Bro, didn't I just tell you this, though? I literally just told you this on the last show when you were talking about the, the, the national media and how they're looking at the maps and stuff. And I kept telling you, bro, I don't care about that. I said they don't do that to nobody else. Like you said, Lakers have been been a ninth, a tenth seed all year. And man, can the Lakers pull it out? How can the Lakers get in there? Shout Golden out. State. How can they get in there? Blah blah blah. But with the Mavericks, oh, there's no way they're gonna ever be a, a top team in the, in the uh, in the West or whatever. Bro. They can never win games in a row. Like we hear Shout all this out. stuff from them, but everybody else get excuses. Shout out to Lakers fast break. Shout out to Jeff. But all right, you got any fear for the Lakers if you see them in the playoffs? No, I'm not scared. Bring them up. Let's go. Listen, what was the two? What was the one thing I said we needed before the trade deadline? You said we needed size, a big uh-huh. man, a power forward, and a uh, and a center. Do we have a power forward in the center now? Yes, we do. Have we been have we been beating everybody? Yes, I think we okay. can make Anthony Davis. Uh, so I'm not scared of anybody. Okay. We had we had no answers for for Anthony Davis before the trade deadline. We had to wipe out and Matthew Kleber Gardner. You think PJ can shut down Anthony Davis? I put him on. I would too. Matter of fact, yeah. you ain't got to do that. I put Gafford in uh in Lively on him. Truthfully, yeah, I've seen what Lively do. Lively pretty good. Yeah, uh, now Lively Div- got surrounded. You got people surround him now. So yep. yeah, we good. Uh, Dave said I would give Powell one job tomorrow. Get thrown out of the game with some bonus. Uh, scrap with him. Throw hands, and we will pay the fines. Come on, Powell, be a team guy. Do it. Yeah, you know that ain't gonna happen. Uh, Lloyd says Russ is legit. He can help the Suns if he want to play there. They got no leader. They need to follow Russ. Yeah. Russ is a leader, true leader. No, 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 it's James Harden. Uh, GD said basketball gods kept the receipts for how much uh, trash some fans talk when Dallas missed the playoffs. Now they're making them pay up. Phoenix were losing the play in. Book it. No pun intended. Yikes. Mm. Oh, Nancy, did you raise something? I missed it. She's with WTN. Uh, uh, let's see. Ray says Kings is not a good paint defender team. And based on Mavs' identity right now, I'm not surprised if Sabonis fouls out tomorrow. Hmm. Yeah, because who they back up? JaVale McGee. Uh, Div says, oh, I saw a Clipper center. Uh, Zubat was so pissed off at Kawhi during the game, he started yelling at him after play, LOL, and Kawhi didn't say much. LMFAO. Hmm. Uh, Pasquale said, LOL, well, that response gave me even more confidence for Mavs in the playoffs. Next two games will be a good time to size up our biggest weakness right now, kid versus the fast pace, yes. Nancy says, was either Luca or Kyrie out in either one of those Kings losses? Also, my only concern to you is Savonis plays a little dirty, so I hope they keep their heads. I don't know if we had our four teams. I don't be remembering because we were missing so many guys in every game early in Nancy. Yeah, so, I mean, we had a lot surprised. of people out. You know, huge chunks of the season. So I know we didn't have our new team. How about that? Yeah, we didn't have the guy we got now. Let's uh, see what they look like. GD says, I hate to be their downer and beat the same drum, but we can't – can't be this bad from three. Utah left PJ Maxey and DJJ wide open on multiple plays to try to pack the paint. We need to at least be mid from three. Uh, Gina Kim said, I saw a big Clippers account post that Brian Damaris clip of him talking about Harden. Even though they know their team is falling, I thought they wanted us to stay on that side. Clippers might be trying to play us, bro, with that whole clip. Hmm, that's fine. Gina Kim said, Lucas should get the clutch play of the year, too. There's a reason why the Mavs are the most clutch team in the league. It's because of Luke Cobb, but Cobb missed too many games, so give it to Luka. No, they, they can't play together, remember? Oops. Sorry, Mavs fan. Him right now, I read it, though. He said, I could care less about Luka's efficiency right now. He's still making the right plays more times than not lately. Facts. Yeah, I'm not worried about Luka, man. Gina Kim says, so really, Luka should get the MVP scoring title and clutch player of the year. Imagine if he did, GOAT. Hey, uh, your boy, um, Tyler had not Tyler hands, bro. What the hell am I talking about? Um, Halliburton, Tyrese Halliburton got to play the rest of the season because what's name basically gonna miss the, miss the rest of the season, right? Trey, uh, young, he's not bad. Uh, yet. so I got an alert today, they still don't have a timetable on him coming That's back. So he, Luke, is probably going to be second at least in the league in assists, probably so. And if Tyrese Halliburton, he got to think he got to get through 11 more games, they might be there, he might be already there or close to it. 
That's crazy. Luca who led the league in assists and points and shit. Uh, GD said Brad Townsend just reminded me that the Clippers have the season series against us, so their two game lead over us is basically a three game lead bummer. Yes, they did win two out of three. Uh, Manzi Kevin said, I don't know, but I have a feeling that kid will mess mess up this team and play THJ at the five, something like that. <laughs> man, don't say that, man. Uh, Gina Kim said, What's the situation with PG? Can the Clippers resign him? If not, do, who do y'all think can get him? I mean, I think a bunch of teams will try. I think Clippers will resign him back, though. Yeah. What if they, what, it depends on how their season ends, though, right? You think if they like fall out like six, like we said, and lose in the first round, you think they'll sign PG back? Yeah, I said they'll sign him back. Now, would they sign Harden back is the question. Mm, guess, yeah. Uh, DV said, Gina, yeah, they can. Uh, I think they would bring back Harden and PG at least, but because of the new arena, they need superstars to make money back. You got can't you just paint them superstars? No reason, bro, BV, but I understand. Yeah, yeah. and the agent too. I mean, uh, GD said Tim A. Hole McMahon just said to Luca, "You started rough shooting. Did you get flashbacks to San Antonio?" Luca just stared at him and said, "No." <laughs> Tim be wilder. Ain't heard from this man. I don't know how long he come back out here with that. Gina Kim said, missing the playoffs last year was a blessing and a curse. I feel like that's where the Luka hate comes from. But tanking got us lively in Omax and off the Bertons contract. Back. I just don't want to play that game again. Uh, Sharky said, Suns and Celtics are screwed with their salary cap. They can't bring all their guys back. Shows why I fit and talent greater than names. Mm. Uh, Lloyd said. said not, uh, Sharky, you said uh, Nico? What did you say? Mm. Lloyd says, do you guys think Steph Curry will get an all-NBA selection this year? He might be 11th seed. Hmm. Mm. Ooh, no man, that's a good Actually, question. I do. So, bro, Bronson is Bronson a top ten player? Or would a playoff decide that? Bro, don't do that. Why y'all ask me these top ten, top? Yeah, uh, I know, but is, is he bro. is he around there? I guess, bro. I'm not sure. I told is he, you, se- is he second team All NBA? I'm gonna give you my okay. Now you ask me that. All right, uh, I can see him. I think he'll be All NBA this year. Is he second team? Yeah, he probably second team. That's, that's well. Like, mm, I don't, I don't, I don't know, bro. I don't watch enough of the other teams to even tell you. Uh, he top five in the league in scoring. Is it? Uh, is it positionless all throughout? Yeah. He probably be, three. Wouldn't that be crazy if we were a, a top ten player in the league and we we draft him? You said Mark Cuban. You said third team though. I mean, I think they're gonna still put two guards on each team. He uh he's gonna he's gonna I think he's gonna be all NBA this year, bro. Who I mean, who else would get a spot over him though? That's what I'm thinking about. Like, so you got Luca and SGA, right? As far mm-hmm. as guards, what other guard can get a spot over Jalen Brunson? Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown played small forward though, right? And Jason Tatum power forward. Oh yeah, they did move the foot three. Uh I'm still not picking Jalen Brown over Jalen Brunson. But either way, Ant. it's two, two of them. Okay, Ant. 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 So is anybody else? That's what I'm saying. Ant and GB. Is that the second team? Now you got me looking at the door. I, I don't think I don't think Booker will be over GB. Uh, let's see. I don't know. I don't even know, bro. It's late. I don't even know. I don't think Donovan Mitchell will be. I don't think Damian Lillard should be. No, I don't think Damian Lillard. No. So, so I think J- I think Jalen Brunson, second team. Because Tyrese Halliburton kind of fell off after the injury. Yeah, yeah. I think I think it's Jalen Brunson for second team. I wouldn't be surprised. I like Jalen been balling, man. But to answer Lloyd's question, it's gonna be hard for Steph Curry to make it because you got Tyrese Halliburton and you got. Donovan Mitchell. Yeah. Uh, Gina Kim said, I, they still don't give it to him because he's Steph, though, probably. I don't know. Depending on if they make it. If they don't make the play in at all, he might not make it. That's wild. Steph Curry wouldn't have a – I mean, Luka would officially have more. I think Luka might already have more first teams than Steph, but he officially, I think. Does he have five? Maybe Steph does have five. Yeah, because Luka going have five. I think they tied, right? No, Steph has – Luka has four already, right? Yeah, Luke got Luke four. Is, Luke is six here, right? Mm-hmm. So if we have five, I think Steph Curry has four. So I think Luca will have more first team All NBAs than Steph Curry after this year at 25 years old. Uh, Gina Kim said, I can't believe the Kings and OKC helped us out. 
OKC really should have taken Gafford because they needed size, and Kings gave Mavs, Hardy, and Omax. We just got to play our cards right. Facts. Uh, Gerald said, did y'all hear Luca yell at Timmy when he was about to jack up a shot? It was a play where Timmy was about to shoot a three out of No, I didn't see that, but I could believe it. I believe it. Uh, Div says, so with Trey, the Hawks were under 500 team and the worst defensive team, and without Trey, they're above 500 and way better D. Matt, prior to Celtics game, was saying, wait till we play good team. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I that's what I was telling uh I was telling the King that off off camera, bros. I can't wait to hear what Matt gotta say, man. And they did in one LOL trout yeah. trade sucks. And it came back, I think, uh 30. 30, yeah. yeah Gina Kim Ooh, said yeah, I can't wait to listen to that show. That I'm happy show. we weren't the only ones getting embarrassed by the paces. They giving everybody problems. Uh, Johnny B said, I low key think PG wanna go back to Indy. It only makes sense. Ooh, that's a good look. Ooh, that is a good one. That's a real good look, Johnny B. Man, there's a way we can get like a PG or somebody like that, bro. It's a three. I'm and PG wouldn't have to do much either, bro. Like nah, he just bro. he just fit, bro. Like, man, Gina Kim says Luca hate that man, Tim. Where was Tim when we were losing? Why didn't he cook kid? He only goes after Luca, but Luca want that smoke. Tim ain't going. I, I tell you, I don't think Tim will keep it. That's what I just said, Gina. I ain't heard from this man in eight years now. And all of a sudden he come out of nowhere. Like Luca gonna, Luca gonna get somebody else's Timmy Man's job. Watch what I tell man, you, bro. Something. Get beat, beat. Keep keep that same energy, bro. With Jason Kidd when he was out here uh, stinking up the joint, he ain't said not one word to him. When Jason Kidd taught him write some positive, he crawled on the little corner. I just ask you a question. Gina Kim says off topic, but what's y'all thoughts on the East right now? What's the matchup y'all would like to see? I want to see the Celtics. I don't care about the East. If we get to the finals, we winning it. That's how I feel, Gina Kim. We get to the finals, we winning. Don't let us get to the finals. Yeah, I want to see what the Celtics gonna do because they, they everybody hyping them up. Yep. Uh, GD said first team gonna be Lucas, Shea, Tatum, Giannis, and Joker. Uh, Steph and Ant going to get second team. I don't know if Steph get it over mm-hmm. over over Jalen Brunson, GD. I don't think Steph getting second team this year. I don't think mm-hmm. it. Steph don't even score more than JB, does he? Like Steph ain't top five is scoring. I think I think Jalen Brunson is a better player than Steph this year. I don't mean to be like. Bro, we had Jalen Brunson, and I don't mean it to say like I love Kyrie. Yes, Kyrie, Kyrie, love it. But like, then we drafted Jalen Brunson with Luca that same year. That's why I would think about it. Hmm. Sharky says Luca really stopped the four and one fast break by himself with that charge. Yes, he did. Uh, DV said Donovan Mitchell would have probably been over him, but he's not eligible. Maybe Booker. And Holly, uh, Steph would probably still make it like how Luca made it last year after we fell out. Yeah, but Luca got first team though, D. That's what I'm saying. Maybe he gets a third team. I just, I don't think, I think Jalen Brunson has to get a second team. That's how I feel. I think he has to get a second team. I think it's going to be him and Ant. All right. So J, JB is averaging 27. Mm hmm. Uh, those you right because I can read another comment. Yeah, yeah, go ahead for them because I gotta, I gotta click through it. Gina Kim said, also, who are y'all top five current players in the league right now? Non injured, so no and B. We did a list on TGK's midnight. Uh, Madness has said, Luke, okay, SGA, Giannis, and Kawhi, but someone said, Ant, not Kawhi. So Brunson averaging 27 4, Steps averaging 26 8. Who, who's second team on NBA? Yeah, I, if you voted, I ain't gonna say. Who, I don't even know voted, if. if man, I don't know if Steph gonna even make. I mean, if Steph make it, he gonna barely make the third team, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like, bro, you can't. Jalen Brunson is better than Steph Curry this year. I, like I said, like, if, they, if they do put Steph on there, bro, it's gonna be because he because he's Steph, bro. Yeah, just because he's Steph, but he better make third team though. Like, he, yeah, Jalen Brunson you. better make the second team this year. I'm serious. Like, he's this. He's that good. He would have been here for fifty-five million for four years. I just want people to remember that. Second team All NBA guy. My guy Kyrie made one second team, didn't he? Yeah. That's what I'm saying, man. Like Mark Cuban. Uh Div says, I mean, Trey sucks on D. Pause. Yeah, it did. Uh, Gina Kim said, I'll change my mind and say Luca, Giannis, Joker, Ant, and SGA. Or we'll switch it and have SGA then Ant. This is based on how they're doing currently so far this season. Luca and Giannis are being underrated right now. Yeah, I don't think um, – I don't know if I put Ant top five yet. I got to see playoffs still. He'll be having some moments, though. He do, but we'll see. 
DF says, I want to see Giannis healthy team versus Tatum and see what Tatum is made out of. Uh, you know, Giannis is tough and will play hard. I feel like Tatum will be cowardly and snake it up. Shout out to Wilson. He just says why he would pick Denver over uh, Boston if they made it to the finals. Uh, Gina Kim said, King, when does your play baseball team play our Rangers? We ready for all the smoke. I don't know yet, Gina Kim. Don't worry. Y'all don't know. Season start in April. Uh, Frank says, don't forget we're developing a Siakam 2.0 with a three-point shot. Omax is now shooting above 40% from three. I believe Omax is our future three. Mm. Uh, GD said, Lodge, uh, all NBA is a media-voted award. They absolutely adore Steph, and these voters don't watch basketball. They're, they're still talking about Steph versus Braun playoff series while they're nine temp seed. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, GD. Yeah. I've been trying to tell Keen that man about the like the way they be hyping them dudes up, man. Like they do. I said he's gonna get a third team based off him being like, stuff. Man. No, I'm talking about the fact, man, like the, the way that they uh when you talking about like I said, talking about the media and the covering the Mavs and stuff, bro. So I'm listening to them, man, because they the same media. They'll switch it up on the Mavs like like like, like clothes, but all they they stay consistent with Golden State in the LA all year long. Like you said, they've been a ninth, tenth, eleventh seed all year, and they just like, oh, I'm telling you, they're gonna be the first seed in the West. Like, bro, they, the 10 the games away from the first seed, how are they going to be first seeds in the West? Of the league. Man, the same way they still say Phoenix is scary. Even though everybody that's seen Phoenix play, no, Phoenix not scary at I'm all. I'm about to say, yeah, it's funny that folks like us can sit here and watch it and tell you no, but you're going to sit here and play us, play us like we stupid and sit here and tell us, yeah, man, I'm telling you, they're a threat. Hey, but Who, it, it's, like it's you all just asked me, are you, scared, are you scared of any of them teams in the 8th, ninth, or 10th seed? But it's all kind of players, bro. It's so I see stuff. Shout out to Lee Will. His wings are amazing. Um, he said that he still will pick the Suns at full strength over the Dallas Mavericks after we had beat him the last time and all. Like it's just it's players and all saying this stuff. And I don't know where they get it from. I don't know if it's favoritism. I don't know if I think they stuck in ways. Like it's like that seniority, like because he Kevin Durant. For some reason, they we as fans can watch and see that's not the same Kevin Durant. Like, bro, y'all get – okay, we understand Kevin Durant was Kevin Durant, but this ain't – in this league right now, he's not hey, a number – he's not second best player, first best player, third best player. That's not where he is right now. And they keep seeing it like, well, they got Kevin Durant, Devin Booker, and this, they're going to be unstoppable. And it's like, no. Have you been watching them this year? Hmm. Like, like you said, just watch it. Oh, I never – you heard me say this a million times. You get paid literally just to watch the games, bro. Mm-hmm. You get paid just to watch the games, and you still be having these old idiotic opinions out there, man, or takes or whatever. And it's like, that's why you always hear people, the first question somebody asks, like, bro, do you watch the games? Yeah. Have you not seen it? They're literally the worst fourth quarter team in the league, bro. And you're talking about, oh, no, they still got Kevin Durant. In. Hey, what's they probably thought that tonight, too? Oh, they still got Kevin Durant and Devin Booker. And what happened tonight in the fourth quarter? So, man, made that uh, big three, won the game. Uh, Mad fans say Luca made it last year because he had historically uh, great numbers. Steph this year isn't crazy like that, where he can overcome a losing record, at least not for a first or second team. That's what I said, Mad fan. He ain't getting that, man. Yeah, I don't think he's getting it, bro. Now, Steph- like I said, yeah, if they give it to him this year, bro, I might, Steph- I, might I might be on that train with some of these folks who the the, the, the uh, what you call it? Uh, uh, Rick. Yeah, I'm probably I might be on that on that train, bro. Cause that's ridiculous, bro. Steph a top ten player this year. Don't get me started on the top ten stuff. I'm gonna tell oh, you okay. just from him. If you telling me like if you ask me from just for his, for his uh his position, when you name you ask me to name off the guards, you already named off two of them. That's Shea and Luca. That's automatically gonna be first team right there. Let me ask you this: You know people, and you know people crucify this guy. Is Steph better than Jason Tatum this year? No. But uh, mm, you see how you got it either way. You said question that and you got to think. So Steph Curry ain't been that good. Man. I'm picking Jason Tatum over Steph this year. I think Steph Curry been overrated for a while, for a couple Ooh, of years. I'm not gonna. That's uh, fire, bro. I, it is what it is. Like Steve Curry is amazing. Gotta, the rest gotta, of the gotta. people. It's something we ain't done in a while, bro. Hold on, King. Hold on. Let me turn it up so everybody can hear that. Shots. Steph Curry, only, yo, Steph Curry get, I mean, he get coddled, bro. Steph Curry, it, it's never a problem. Steph Curry missed the playoffs, make the play in. Oh, like it's it's never. An issue. Steph Curry always does this. Like he won that one championship in the meantime, which is awesome. He got it without Kevin Durant. But bro, his team, other than that, usually trash. He can't no, beat LeBron. He loses the like the Memphis Grizzlies in the play in. You feel no, me? I, 
I tripped out when people was like, oh man, Steph ain't got no help. And it's like, but y'all said Luca needs to shut up and get folks involved when he yeah. didn't have no help. But when Steph ain't got no help, we gotta we gotta uh do a what they call that a, a Patreon and, 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 and get money yeah. to to raise money to get him some help on the team and stuff. Like, bro, are we serious right now? He's overrated because he's not that great of a playmaker. And that's been his weakness, bro. I'm telling you. That's why he's not a he's not that big of a floor raiser. Like he he's not. He he will sit there and even get beat up. Like remember that first year they didn't have when uh Clay and um what's his name um uh, Clay and Katie weren't there whatever like that he got injured because he was trying to do too much he was too small broke his hand or something like that like it just is what it is is Draymond is a huge piece of that team like being he they are like two players that play one position Draymond just gives up his his ability or his position to basically give all the clout to Steph Curry but it's Draymond's a, they didn't have Draymond. I mean, they did have what's his name before that Monte, and they weren't a good team back then either. And Monte was a beast. That's all I'm saying. Mm. Uh, Gina Kim said, I agree. Steph hasn't been good this year. I have him 8 10 to 10 currently. Bronson had a better impact this year. They'll have Braun before they have Curry. I think Braun better than Curry this year. Is, is, is Steph Curry better than LeBron? Nope. Then that's what I'm saying to you. How is Steph Curry top 10 this year? Uh, I think he was like I said. I don't. I don't. I don't really know the, the whole top ten thing. I, I tell you the same answer all the time. Only thing I know is there's three players in the league. I said the best players in the league. And you already know who those three players are. I don't yep. know anything else. You started trying to have me list list after that. Uh, I ain't good at all that. Uh, Gina Kim said, "I still want the Bucks versus the Pacers. I really want them to cook the Bucks. It'll be hilarious." I don't know anymore. Uh, Gina Kim after the injuries and all. Like, I don't know. I got to see it now. Uh, Hami says. More of an off-season question. What will it take for Omax to be that point of attack defender? Also, we need to trade Green ASAP. I don't Dang. think much. Just get him. Just get him involved. If he gets to play and all, he'll be fine. Rips. Yeah. Uh, Sharky says, "I know our defense isn't the best, but we we get written off because they don't play defense. Do the Suns, Lakers, Kings play defense? I think people are underrating our defense. I think our defense is one of the best. I think the Mavericks have one of the better defensive teams in the NBA right now. After the trade deadline. After the trade, really yep." I really do, and I think people aren't paying attention to it like that. They can keep saying the Ma- certain people like Tim Legler that are paying attention to it, saying you're gonna look up and see the Mavs in the Western Conference Finals and all that, and they got a chance. But like everybody keeps using the same boring, like old narrative, bro. And it's like you you and can't. That's how you can. Them. So instead of you just watching it, let me just regurgitate the same stuff the same that we already heard already. Yep. That's bro, lazy, man, and it. and it's uh irresponsible too. Much love to um. What's his name? Uh, um, Keyshawn Johnson, bro. But they got to take him off of. Oh, Keyshawn Trash. Call him basketball, bro. Like, this dude said, I've never seen LeBron James posterize anybody. I'm like, and you a Lakers fan or LeBron fan? What the hell are you talking about? Like, just simple stuff he says. I'm like, he said something else. He said, uh, what the heck did he say? He said something. I was like, bro, you don't know that's the answer to that question or something like that. Damn, he asked him a, a crazy question. Oh, I can't remember, man. I wanted to say it. I'm like, bro, he didn't know the answer to that question. I can't believe he didn't know that. But, yeah, man. That's, oh, I'm sorry. When uh, you get ejected. When you get ejected out of the game, he asked Paul Pierce, oh, you get a fine when that happened? Paul Pierce was like, yeah, you get a fine. I'm like, bro, you don't know you get a fine when you get ejected? Why do they have the guy on TV talking basketball? And that's no – sorry, Keyshawn, man, but, like, bro, that's crazy. Uh, hold up, I read that one. Lloyd said the Brian Damaris is going around Clippers uh Twitter right now saying the Shaq quote that he wasn't familiar with his game. Brian Damaris, that's your boy. Uh Gina Kim said, Do y'all think Luca should have gotten it last year after we tanked? Some people don't agree, but Luca was still cooking regardless. I think the media is valuing team success a little too much now. I mean, y'all say the media hate Luca, but I didn't pick him for first team last year. Yeah, we both said on the show we didn't think he's gonna get it. We were shocked when he got it. It's kind of like somebody just saying, like, yo, give you money. Like, I mean, I didn't ask for the money, but I'll take it. Yeah, but I'll take it. I'm not mad. Uh, GD says, King, there's no doubt Brunson clears stuff this year, but when you listen to media voters talk about Golden State Warriors, it's clear how they feel and how they're going to vote. Performance isn't even relevant, though. I mean, bro, I, I hope not, GD, man. Like, that's wild. That, yeah, they do that, GD, team, man. Like, yeah. I mean, I, I already don't really have respect for those voters, man, especially for some of the names we hear out there that's actually voters. Bro, they about to shut down Steph. Yeah. Better get Jalen Brunson. Jalen Brunson been missing Julius Randle. 
That's just what I, I, that's what I was gonna say. Like, and OG and an OB and all that, bro. Like, come on, man. Yeah. Come on. Uh, Div says, have people watched KD play this year and last few playoffs? This dude is turnover machine and clutch. He is. And under doubles, uh, he gets lost and locked up. He just isn't him anymore. Watch the games. That's all you got to do, Div, is watch the games. But that kind, of, that kind of was his problem in OKC too, Div. But uh, Jana Kim said, we need more people like Legler and JJ. It's gotten so bad now that people like Skip had to defend Braun because Keyshawn was jabbing. He made Skip look like he knows ball. Yeah, Keyshawn be wilding, man. Even even he's saying even Skip was like, man, I can't do this. <laughs> Uh, Gina Kim said, I love when teams trap KD. That man can't handle a double team and add Booker to that, and they think the Suns will get far. Crazy. Hmm. Yeah, uh, we were so different, Gina. I know. Lloyd said, King, take it a step further. Is he even better than D-Fox this year? Ha <laughs> ha. I was I was thinking that, Lloyd, but I was like, I ain't going to go that far because D-Fox ain't make the All-Star game, so I'm going to leave it at that. But That's the only reason why I didn't say him, because he didn't make the yeah, All-Star game. But, I mean, technically, if we just – we taking our All-Star game and all, we just put the – their, their aim or impact on the court. <sighs> Just saying. Now, Dave said, I'm not a Steph hater, but in reality, he is a clutch. That's why they went and got KD, who is clutch, went open. And that is what KD did when they beat Kyle LeBron, get in trouble. KD time. Mm. Says, but KD is washed now. Mm. Gina Kim said, exactly. I saw so many Steph Warriors fans making posts saying, Bron has AD, Luca has Kyle, Book has KD. Who does Steph have? Um, Hall of Famers, champs, so many excuses for Steph. Mm. Logan with the five dollar dough. No, he says crazy how Luca can have trash games according to his standard, and still he drops a triple double. Dude is a beast. Let's go, man. Yeah, man. Yes, sir, Logan. Uh, Sharky says NBA first take with crime because Steph played thirty minutes and carries decreasing his minutes, saying he needs help. But Luca was really going forty plus for a whole month of season. Mm. Uh, Dave says the Mavs D is different in the playoffs because Lucas starts trying hard on D. This is the big difference with our team in the playoffs. Lucas is going to try hard in the playoffs. Uh, Gina Kemp said, I'm kind of hesitant to put KD top 10 because of how up and down he's been, but I'll say he's been better than Steph for sure. I'll put Book in my top 10 now, and I feel like Book's been better than Steph. Mm. Yeah, Book is better than Steph. Uh, Hami says, keeping my expectations lower as this team will only go as far as kids coaching skills. Facts. Yep. Uh, Gina Kim said, I thought Keyshawn was a Lakers and Braun fan, but after that crazy clip, I don't know what he is. Just watching a few highlights and hopped on the Lakers bandwagon because of the Lakers. Yup, Gina Kim. Like, uh, shout out to, uh, I think it was Will. He's that said, anybody on the show. That said, uh, uh, ask Jason Terry that. Oh, like, yeah. Poster and all, like, bro, what the? You, so you never saw that? Jason Terry, you never see Nurkic. You feel me? Like, you. So you didn't you didn't see the Kevin Love dunk from a few years ago? Kevin Love, like you haven't seen. Matter of fact, what that last year? You haven't seen him dunk on Kevin Garnett, like, bro. I don't. He didn't, so he didn't see the dunk on uh on the, the Detroit Pistons. Nope, I guess it. He didn't see none of these dunks, bro. Like he didn't see the jump over. Uh, who was it? George, John Lucas the third. Oh, when he jumped over. Uh, what's the, what's the guy name? Um, the shoot the threes, Damon Jones. Oh yeah. Yeah, I guess you didn't see all that, I guess. Uh, Sharky says, I'm starting to hate the discourse on current players. Everything they do is discredited. No defense. Triple-double is watered down. Uh, what is the point anymore in chasing greatness? That's, I mean, they, they discredit the new generation. They keep Instead of embracing it as OG should do and embrace the youngsters, they hate on it and discredit it and make it look – so they, they say why the game is so much trash now because you keep trashing the game. Exactly. <laughs> Because you keep trashing the game. Just talk about the game for what it is. Yeah, let the let the game change. It's a new it's a new day and age. The game gets better. Michael Jordan wasn't playing the same game that Will Chamberlain was playing. You feel what I'm bro, saying? You know, like you know, it's funny, bro. I was listening to this guy the other day. He had a great point. Basketball is the only sport that we do that to. Yep, and the only sport. Bro. That's the only sport that folks do that to. Where they discredit the new different people. genres or whatever, new, old, whatever. It's the only one they do that. You've never heard. You don't never. You don't never hear that in baseball. You don't hear that bro. in in football. They and I don't really know about like hockey, but I never heard that in hockey. They may not like the new rules in football, like may call it like say a soft or whatever like that. But they don't discredit the new players. No, they don't discredit Tom Brady now. You feel me? They don't discredit Patrick Mahomes. They don't discredit those guys. Like, no, you don't do that. Only people that do that is basketball. They hate yeah. on each other. You know, one of Braun's best plays, though. I know this off topic. You remember when he when he when he blocked Jason Richardson 360 from behind? Oh, yeah, yeah, bro. bro. <laughs> Sorry, uh, Keyshawn didn't see that though. If you're watching or Keyshawn, because y'all gonna be like, Why you talking about Braun? My bad. Uh, GD said, I've seen multiple media members, some of which are voters, 
use their airtime to push a Tatum MVP agenda to say these clowns wouldn't put Steph over JB as wild lads. They absolutely would do it. No, I, I said, GD, I would. I, they shouldn't, but I wouldn't really be surprised, bro. I really GD, would. You, you hurt my feelings, man. You make me think they better not put Steph a second bro, listen. over uh, Jalen Brunson. Yo, for real, man. I'm going to be mad, man. I'm going to be mad. I mean, I'm going to say I would lose all respect, but I, I kind of lost that already, bro, from some of these takes. And it's like, it takes somebody else saying stuff for people to finally say, oh, and then they find able to jump on that bandwagon instead of you just actually watching the games yourself. Like like Tim Legler. Like I said, when Tim Legler got called out, he did his due diligence and went and did his homework. Yep. These guys don't do that. And like, I get mad. I'm tired of yelling at my, well, y'all, I don't really watch these guys. When y'all send me that stuff and I'm watching it, I get tired of yelling at my phone, bro. It's like, yo, that, that's not true. Mm-hmm. That's not true. You know, this, that, this, that, and this, or whatever, right? I get tired of doing that, which is why I just stopped watching that stuff in general, bro. Mm. Bro, I told you Bill Simmons got a vote. Uh, yeah. Div says, great show, guys. Appreciate you, Div. Appreciate it. Uh, Gina Kim said, Brunson been underrated, too. I kind of hope the Warriors miss the playoffs. Will they get clowned, too? Or will it be excuses for him? People think Steph will ask out, but he's too loyal. No, nah, they're not going to give Steph Curry, I mean, he get the benefit of doubt in a way because he got four championships and he won two on his own. So I understand, but they do not crucify Steph as much as they even they, even as much as they crucify KD or like bro. Or LeBron, yeah, yeah that's like what I said Steph, too. Yeah, Steph does not get that criticism, bro. Like Steph, and I guess Kawhi in a way too, but Kawhi's never tried to be that dude. I think that's why Kawhi don't do it because Kawhi never said I'm Kawhi that guy never been. Or like. You and and why never uh won like an MVP or nothing like yeah, that? Yeah, or he's never season. claimed he's a top ten player of all time or something like that. Like he just is who he is. So, but Steph, bro, Steph be dodging bullets all the time, man. Uh, Lloyd says, and they call him Luca Fat and Michelin Boy on TV while he's playing forty minutes a game. Yep. Uh, Gina Kim said, "Did y'all hear Silver say he's looking to change the All Star game to international versus Americans? Any thoughts?" I don't know if that'll help be more competitive, but add money or something. Yeah, the only thing about it, I told you, Jennifer, you got to figure out about the international team because you'd be taking a few all-star spots from some Americans by giving some of the international players spots. Yeah. Unless, I mean, I guess they're going to make the all-star game not mean anything anymore like as far as all-stars. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know how I feel about that either, bro. That's Stop tradition. Bro. I mean, they yeah. change tradition. They got a clutch player and all. Stuff happens, but. I don't but that not not that. not for the all star though, bro. Yeah, Especially if you're talking away. about that being like if it's if it's if that's uh indicative to like somebody's contract and all that stuff, getting a certain amount of money and stuff. It's like so you telling me like Bodanovich now can be an all star now because he's an international player and they need bodies for the international roster. But, but that's what I'm saying. Do you not make it an all star? Do you take away all star and just make it all NBA? That matter for that? Maybe make another all NBA team, uh, all NBA fourth team. Cause not everybody gonna be able to get them in all NBA. At least you got more players who's uh, got chances to make the All Star game compared to all NBA. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause what it's thirty All Stars, right? Yes, yeah, uh, uh, twenty four. What is it? 12 24 and twelve. All Stars. Yeah, I think it's twelve and twelve. Twenty four so All Stars and what fifteen if, uh, All NBAs. What if they made uh, just an All NBA fourth team to make up for that? So it'd be twenty players for All NBA that can get money from that. And take away all star, like all star, not on your resume as far as meaning anything. Mm-hmm. I know it's, 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 I don't know how to do it. Then, like I say, other than that, I don't, I don't know what to do. Div says, uh, people crazy talking about his league is so easy to score. Check it if SGA and Giannis had a couple bad games, they can be under 30. So, only one player over 30 this year. Hmm. Uh, Sharky says, uh, Keyshawn really called LeBron a god that's trying to dish uh, Luca. Yeah, Keyshawn be wild. Uh, Gina Kim said, I feel like the NBA has too much stand culture overseas. They root for a team no matter what. Even if their star player leaves, they stay loyal to the team. I want that for the NBA. Uh, Dave said, could you see someone like Tim Legler on this show? Is that possible? I'd love to have Tim Legler on this yeah, show. I would definitely love to have Tim Legler. Man. Shout out to him. Y'all see, whenever y'all see folks that y'all want on the show, like if y'all see and y'all like, man, they should hear about the show. We talk, man, tag us. Feel free to tag us in their comments saying, hey, these guys or whatever. Please. We would love that. Uh, Lloyd says, Bill Simmons and all the Ringers minions have a vote. They are basically Boston media. Yep. Told you, Bill Simmons got a vote, bro. GD said they shouldn't do it. They would be stupid to do it. There is no logical reason to do it, and I believe they absolutely would do it. These guys simply don't watch basketball, man. Hmm. 
Uh, Gina Kim said they have the wrong voters voting. Everything is narrative driven and the narrative can change quick. They have Tatum PR until he sucked against the uh, Nuggets and now they stopped the, cl- the campaign. I got a question for the glow yard though, real talk. What happens if Joker wins MVP again this year? Is it racist and all again? That's all. I don't know what everybody gonna be thinking if they give the MVP to the Joker again this year. Like, what is the? They just hate Luca, right? It ain't racist and none of that stuff no more, right? Well, we love the Joker and he's just great and incredible. And all right, I just want to know. Uh, Gina Kim said betting has been the worst too. Too many casuals and non-fans betting. Every time a player doesn't help them in their parlay, they get mad. Maybe enjoy the game and stop betting money. True. Yeah, maybe that's why it's so toxic because everybody's mad about parlays. That's why I'm promoting that gambling, man. Like the gambling thing. Yeah. Uh Div says, do this top five on each team is one side Euro only, one side North America, rest spots, top players, and they pick players from the remaining players. It's still gonna be difficult, Div, because you're gonna have to like it's some good players from like international players and all over and all, but not all the all stars. Not all stars, yeah. Those guys though. So you got guys like you said, like Bogdanovich and all that stuff being an all star because you they need bodies. Match. Yep. Yeah. The American side. Uh, Gina Kim said maybe they should add the all star to the regular season, uh, like they did with the end season tournament. Maybe it counts so they care. Yeah, I don't know if you can make it count because it's it's too. Mm-hmm. It's, who, who record does it go on, Gina Kim? Yeah, it's an exhibition game, and plus it's not. Yeah, exactly because you're not you're not having each team. Yeah, like so in the All Star game, you have each, uh, you having a player from random teams in the oh, All Star game. The whole East loses a game. You get them all out. Yeah, like like no, nah, it's not. <laughs> uh, Gina Kim said that Jason guy who's friends with JJ supports Luca and wants JJ to talk about him more. Maybe trying to get him on here. I told you, Gina Kim, we down. Uh, Lloyd says just make it as guys who have dual citizenship, like Kyrie, Cat, and B play international. You got you gonna force them to play international. Uh, GD said the racism thing about MVP voting was always BS, man. I remember Perkins tried to use that to slander Dirk's MVP and JJ destroyed him on TV. Yep. Yep. I remember that, GD. Uh, Sharky go said, on. I go ahead, Ramsar. <laughs> no, I was just, I remember it like it was yesterday. Yep. Uh, Sharky said, I can smell a fake one seed in the East. Smells like 2022 Phoenix. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Uh, Gina Kim said, maybe try to get some top players from the Euro League and be going to play with the Americans so he's out for international. That's what I'm saying. It ain't gonna make no sense. He played for the international, but then he played for the Olympic team. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, let's get this one more in, King. Oh, I didn't see that. I'm sorry. Uh Div said, I mean, people pick all stars as we do as we do, but the top five North American players make North American team. Top five non North American uh make world team, rest of all stars get drafted by players. I don't know if that would matter that much. Then you're not really making international versus Yeah, so that's what I'm about to say. Then you're not making it international. So and Gina Kim says, great show, fellas. We got this. That six seed is ours tomorrow. We got a new team now. Stay in the paint. Let's go, Mavs. Yes, ma'am. All right, y'all. It's going to probably do it for us tonight, man. We definitely appreciate everybody uh, rocking out with your boys tonight, man, for another mad win tonight. Uh, well, y'all, you think y'all already know, tomorrow's the day. Got a big game tomorrow, man. It's going to be a late one, too. I hate the late ones. We're going to be in Sacramento tomorrow, so it's going to be a late one. We're probably not going to start the show until like 12 o'clock, man. Sheesh. So we started at 12 today. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Your time. Yeah. yeah. I mean, so 11 my time, 12 your time. Yeah. So we but, started uh, at 12 your time, one at my time tomorrow. Mm, yeah. Up, <laughs> man. But yeah, listen, uh, if you guys are brand new to the channel, man, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, man, to join us here and become a Glow Yard family participant, guys. Uh, also, too. <laughs> Everybody hit that like button too, man. Hit that like button, man. Let's get those likes up tonight, man. Help us build that algorithm up. Yeah. So hit the like button. We have 135 people in here. Yeah, man. Let's get that like. That's got we got well total. We got more than that, almost 200. But yeah, definitely appreciate everybody, man. Like I said, hit that like button for us, guys. Help us get a, get the algorithm up to find more mad fans like yourselves, guys. Also, too, speaking of uh Glow Yard family. If you want to become a member of the channel, guys, just hit that join button right there next to the subscribe button. If you're on an Android, you can do that. If you're on a computer, you can do that. But I think if you're on an Apple, on an iPhone, I think you have to go through Safari on your phone, guys, to the YouTube desktop and then find our page. And then you got to hit uh, join that way. So just a heads up. Uh, we normally have our membership, uh, our members Fridays here, guys. We normally have uh, 
you know, members only shows on Friday mornings. But if there's a game that falls on a Friday, guys, we normally have our members only post game show. So the, the members will come on stage with us, man, and talk Dallas Mavericks with us after whatever game that, that we play on that Friday. And speaking of play, guys, follow us on playback.tv or you can download the playback app. Uh, it is absolutely free, guys. You can go on playback and you can follow us under We Talk Mavs. We stream all the games there, every game uh, on playback. We have uh, VIP passes too, guys. So if you uh, want a VIP pass, you can literally watch the games through playback, guys, through through our app, I mean, through our under our uh, page. So uh, there you go. Uh, also, too, I know King gonna keep in front of bring this up. So you can follow me on my other channel because we geeked. Uh, we talk about all things in the geek culture, man, involving television and movies, guys. So, you know, the whole DC, Star Wars, Marvel, Ghostbusters, Jurassic Park, whatever you can think of, man. We talk about that on the show. Me and my cousin Will, we do that every Saturday morning, man. Uh, let me see. Is there anything else, King? Is there anything else, King? Before we continue, we want to give a special shout out to Fanatics for hooking the channel up with a personalized link for you guys and ladies to get all of your official NBA Dallas Mavericks merchandise and apparel. If you're interested in helping the channel at all, please scan the QR code on the screen or check out the link in the description. We appreciate all of the continued support and big thanks go out to Fanatics once more for hooking us up over here at We Talk Mavs. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you, thank you, King, for that, man. Uh, but the other King, is there anything else you want to add, man? Uh, follow us on all our socials; they're all in the descriptions. Uh, on our way to our next goal of three K, I think we might be able to get there by the playoffs. So uh, let's keep going. That's awesome. We just keep growing. Um, and share, share, more share. A like is the equivalent of a share. You guys appreciate you so much, man. We're going to win it street. Uh, excellent vibes in here. Excellent vibes everywhere, man. Like this is just incredible. We appreciate everybody. And uh, that's it, bro. Go Mavs, man. We got some major stuff coming up pretty soon, too, y'all. Like, real, 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 real soon. Like, maybe next show soon or the show after that. But, yeah, yeah, hopefully it's next show. Yeah, hopefully. But, yeah, man, uh, like we said, guys, is your boys Rel and King of We Talk Mavs, man. We talk Dallas Mavs from a fan's perspective. We'll be back tomorrow, man, after the Mavs played the Sacramento Kings in a huge, huge game. So we'll see you tomorrow, guys. Same map time, same map channel. Go Mavs. And we out.